Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in Omni GPT and I've got something great to show you. Holy smokes. In this platform, you can access all of the latest and greatest LLMs under one roof with literally one click, no matter what. So if you're, whether or not you're writing content, you're coding, you need to create something that's a little spicier and you need access to some of the uncensored models. It's all here, ChatGPT4 Omni, ChatGPT4 Plus, Llama 3, Claude Opus, Claude Sauna 3.5, Mistral, Dolphin, Poppy, everything's here. I'm going to show you how to use this. I'm also going to show you how to integrate it with Slack and WhatsApp and how you can get all of this for less than the price of a single chat GPT license. Let's go. All right, so the first step is you want to go to omnigpt.co, and when you're there, you can log in or sign up. Either way, I have an account and I will sign in. But before I do that, I just want to take you through the website very quickly here. You'll see here that it has a great demonstration as to some of the things it does here in a video format. And when you go down here, if you're wondering about, you know, things like encryptions, teams, documentation, analyzing images, etc., generating images, and all of that, as well as pricing, it's all here on the front page. They've got a free account, so if you want to get started and use 3.5, GPT 3.5, Llama 2, etc., Mistral, you can go ahead and do that. Then they've got a Plus account, which is only 16 bucks, which is extremely, very, well, it's extremely affordable, especially when you compare it to ChatGPT, for example. For one license, it's $20, so you get access to everything for 16 bucks, $4 less than a single license for ChatGPT. So keep that in the back of your head. All right, with that in mind, let's log in, let's get going. All right, so here we are, we're logged in, and you'll see here at the bottom left, I've got my Plus account, so I've got access to all the bells and whistles. And But here's the thing, the first thing I noticed here is just how clean of an interface this is. Look at this, look at all the white space. It is so easy to navigate and understand. There's no cluttering whatsoever, and if I wanna switch models, for example here, I'm just gonna click right here in the middle, and you'll see that we have access to not just like a couple models, but as I scroll through this list, it has loads and loads and loads of models, including the latest and greatest. There's Llama 370B. We've got, what else do we got here? We got Gemini Pro 1.5. Yes, that's the Pro account. That's the paid account. We've got Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which has only been out for a couple of days. And we just go through the list here. Perplexity, Dolly 3. We'll do some image generation in a minute. We've got some coding models. We've got Dolphin, Deep Sea Coder, Wizard. And then we've even got uncensored models like Poppy. It's all here. Depending on what your use case is, I guarantee you, you can do it. Let's start creating some content. All right, so let's start off with a nice simple prompt, and then we'll sort of work our way up into some of the other things like image analysis and stuff like that. But here we go. First thing here in the middle, of course, I'm going to go ahead and switch from Claude 3 Haiku. I'm going to move over to, let's pick for this one, I want Claude 3.5 Sauna. This is brand new, and it's cool that they have it in there. Now, what am I going to do? I'm just going to say, hey, Write a 3,000-word essay on the witches in Macbeth. Maybe I'm a student, and I'm trying to get some ideas for a term paper, for example. Also, a 3,000-word essay is a nice long essay, so you can get a feel for the context length and whether or not it can do longer content like this, at least written content. Let's click on Send. Let's see what happens. All right, it's cooking. The witches in Macbeth, agents of fate, catalysts of tragedy. I already like the title. And look at that, here we go. It's using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It's going ahead and writing it practically in real time here. Amazing stuff. This is just one of the many things you can do real quick inside OmniGPT. Now let's start looking at some images. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is how to create your own AI images. Now there's a couple of things you can do here. The first one is you wanna switch from Claude 3 Haiku or whatever model you've got selected just drag and drop this down here, and I'm going to select Dolly 3. This is OpenAI's premier AI image and AI art generator. The second thing I like to do, this is optional, but I think it helps quite a bit, is I'm going to click on this little down arrow here, up at the top right, and you'll see there as I scroll through here, that one of the options here, one of the roles or expertises, so to speak, is graphic designer. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and that just sort of primes the... Uh, LLM for what we're looking to do. So here we go. Now, to create your own image, I'm just going to type in here in the little prompt box. I'm going to go half French, half English bulldog with floppy ears, something like that. And if you haven't guessed, yes, I have a half French, half English bulldog with very floppy ears. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'll hit send. 
Now you're going to see that it's going to cook it up. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got. All right, so that's a little more like it here. Now, if I click on this image here, okay, this is fantastic. Yes, this has the nice French face with the big French ears, but it has a bit of a stockier body there, and the face is a little wider. You know what? That reminds me of my Bulldog Kingston. I like it. So there you go. Now, if you wanted to go further, you can, of course, click on Make Variations, and it will go ahead and start making variations on that. But that is all it takes to go ahead and create high-quality images in OmniGPT. All right, let's look at some of the coding LLMs now. All right, the next thing I want to touch on is coding with OmniGPT. It is absolutely easy, crazy easy. All you got to do is go to the top right, click on little down arrow, and I'm going to switch from default to software engineer because why not? The next step here is I'm going to go to Claude Haiku here in the middle, and then I'm just going to go down to the bottom where the LLMs, LLMs part of me, are that you know, our coding specific. So for instance, we've got Dolphin 2.9.2, we've got Deep Sea Coder, and we've got Wizard LM. For this demonstration, let's go with the Wizard. Why not? So we're going to select that as our LLM. And then here at the bottom, I'm just going to type in create a simple snake game using Python, using basic Python. Very simple stuff. I just want to show you how it works in here. I know you're probably a much better coder than I am. <laughs> Look at this. This is fantastic. Here we go. It's doing it in real time for us. PIP install or pip install, do your thing. And then here we go. Import Pygame, import time, import random. It's it's giving us the code in real time. And better yet, you'll see here over on the right side here, I've got a Jupyter Notebook open. So we're not only going to see what the code is, we're going to test it to see if it works. So here we go. I'll come back when it's done. It should be a few more seconds. And then we're going to test it. All right, welcome back. So it has now gone ahead and done it. So I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, I'm just going to click over here. I believe this is just a copy icon. So I'm just going to copy the code directly. And here we go. We are in Jupyter Notebook. And I'm just going to copy and paste in the code. And then you'll see here it's in. I'm just going to hit Shift Return to render it and, and run it. And look at that. Snake game. It worked first try. No changes, nothing. This worked perfectly. And I am very bad at this game. As you can no doubt tell. Wow. Okay. So yeah, uh, there you go. Okay. I got it. There you go, guys. This is perfect. This worked perfectly. Now let's take a look at one more thing. All right. The last thing I want to discuss here is real quickly here is the integrations. Take a look here. Remember, if you want to share that game that we just created, maybe you wanted to share the code. Again, you can connect with WhatsApp. You can connect with Slack. All of these different options, Jira, Trello, they're all either done or being built out and you can get access to them. Piece of cake. If you want to add some team members, maybe you don't you work distributed and you work from home and you want to add another teammate, you can go ahead and create your own team. Fantastic stuff here, guys. This is just a quick overview of Omni GPT, but man, is there a lot of really good stuff in there. I recommend that you give it a try. It's only $16 USD a month. It's less than a cost of a single license for Chat GPT, for example. And it has all of this stuff that I've shown you and a lot more. Give it a try. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it, guys. Thanks for watching.